Happy Heritage Month interview! So, uh, okay, so we're going to start with a couple of questions. We're going to begin with what is your name and what is your role at school? My name is uh, Ms. Santiago and I am the EFT coordinator at Rex Pines. I'm Mr. Santiago, interventionist at Rex Pines. Hi, thank you. Uh, where were you born? I was born in Florida. I was born in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that works. Okay. What is your family's country of origin? Uh, my mother is from El Salvador and my father is from Honduras. Okay. And mine are uh, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, both. Both parents. Alright, very good. Okay. How long have you lived in the United States or your parents have been in the United States? Uh, my parents came when they were teenagers. Oh, okay. Mine when they were, they were small. I know it's uh, between one and ten. Oh, okay. So, have you always known English or Spanish, and how did you learn? Uh, Spanish was my first language, and I started to read and write, and then I picked up in school. Oh, okay. I'm Mr. Santiago. Okay, so for me, English is my first language. Has your family, you or your family's life changed since you moved, or since they moved to the U.S.? My mother still speaks Spanish. I know a little bit of English, and my father is very fluent in English and Spanish. Well, I'm going to speak to her dad for a second, because her dad came to the country, didn't speak any English. Right. And now he speaks English fluently, he made a career for himself. I mean, he, he's amazing. He's getting ready to retire from his career, uh, working with Canon, doing printer repairs, and big printers and all the, the big corporations and stuff. So, uh, so it, for him, I think it made a huge difference, because he came from Honduras, the United States, and I mean, he's amazing. Uh, my parents are really more of a, you know, we're all Americanized, you know, so they grew up in New York and uh, my mom was a teacher and, you know, that's basically, we, we live kind of the American life. And what would be something that you would like to teach your kids? Like one of those traditions, something that you would like to pass on, any traditions or anything that you usually do with your parents and you want your kids to learn? Um, I guess uh, I would like to share beautiful music that we have in you know, Spanish culture. Um, I don't know about the dancing part, but <laughs> at least uh, you know, appreciate the music and the food from our country is also very delicious. <laughs> Same for me, the food, and uh, I know my, my mom impart, imparts a lot of like, food with them on my garden, so she does a lot of that, pasteles, and arroz and all of that stuff, so she definitely, my mom is the a really big uh, Latin connection. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so uh, what do you think are the contributions of Hispanics or the Hispanics have made in the U.S.? Other contributions have been that they have brought a lot of uh, culture to society, a lot of acceptance and fun. Um, I believe that uh, Hispanics uh, are very friendly people and outgoing and very accepting. Yeah, along with that, what we were saying, like diversity, they bring right. their food, they bring their music. Yeah. I mean, definitely music, food, uh, just the, uh, the idea of the uh, community. Uh, what is a phrase or saying that you would like to, that reminds you of your country? What an expression that reminds you of your country or your country? I grew up just in Jamaican Park, so I love you. <laughs> Um, I guess for me, it'd be uh, in our country, uh, they say both a lot instead of usted. So whenever I hear somebody say both, it's kind of reminds me. All right, guys, thank you very much. Thank you for coming into our interview. Bye. Right? <laughs>